mob lynches mentally disabled Pakistani man for alleged burning of the Quran. On February 12th, Mohammed uh, Mushtaq, a 41-year-old man, was killed by an angry mob in the uh, Kanewal district of Pakistan. According to the Associated Press, uh, Mian Mohammed Razan, the mosque custodian, told people that he saw Mushtaq burning a page of the Quran. Triggered by the accusation, people started to attack and assault Mushtaq. Muhammad Iqbal, a police officer and two subordinates, tried taking custody of Mustaq for the alleged blasphemous act, but the crowd began throwing stones at them as well. By the time the reinforcements arrived, Mustaq was already dead. Munawar Hussein, a police officer, said, quote, the villagers armed with baton, axes, and iron rods killed him and hanged his body from a tree. According to Munawar uh, Jub uh, Jujar, chief of to Lamba police station, Mustak had been mentally unstable for the past 15 years and, according to his family, often went missing from home. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan said he is shocked by the incident and will work with the Chief Minister of the Punjab province to get a report on the case. Yeah, none of this, nothing is going to happen. Nothing serious is going to happen. Imran Khan said that? Mm hmm. Imran Khan said he's shocked? yeah that's what he's like shocked you're not and shocked. anguished you're not shocked you know that you fueled this you fueled this for political gains this is not even your ideology Imran Khan but you fueled it for the for cheap political gain and it's now coming back at you and you're like you're shocked you're responsible for this Imran Khan where are all those people that who had so much hope in Imran Khan where are they now he Oof. leaned into this crowd. He leaned into this crowd that does some stuff like this. He fed them. He would like, he poured gasoline on this fire. And now he's like, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Yeah. It's, it's just a horrible incident. There's some inconsistencies in the reporting on this, just like full disclosure, like different news agencies reported different um ages for him some say he's around 41 years old some say that he's around the age of 50. there's also different reporting about if so we do know that the, like they were he was stoned at one point basically and but there's different reporting about if the police tried to secure him and charge him first and then they they like like snatched him from the police because they didn't have enough reinforcements and then some say that actually all this happened and then the police showed up and um found that he had already been killed honestly i don't know even know what to expect from the police anymore in pakistan like honestly if you were the police and you had to deal with this mob like the mob in pakistan is a lot stronger than this uh than the than the police right now like the military is the only group that could like deal with this mob right but the police isn't like we reported news here before that the, the one time the police was holding one of these people that accused was accused of blasphemy and the mob attacked the police station and they burned down the police station right like i don't think like these the, these cops are paid enough to risk their lives like they're like okay we're gonna arrest this guy but the mob is like no we'll take care of it like what are you gonna do like just be like five or six cops standing between a, a man ch a charge of blasphemy and this entire mob like no i'm like i want to go home today to my wives and kids thank you very much here mob have at it you know what i mean they're not gonna why would they sacrifice their lives for something like you know i don't know i don't i don't i think like it's not i don't i i, I wouldn't expect the police in pakistan to do much more than what they're already doing right i don't know i think Somebody, it really speaks to how the how the rule of law and order has deteriorated to such an extent in Pakistan because there have been um there have been more than 100 arrests because of this incident like that is one thing about this that we should mention so they are taking people again, they are taking action on people and there are the expectation that there will be more arrests based on video footage. Um, yeah, but didn't they let them go last time they made arrests like this? After just a while? They're not going to hold a hundred MP, you know. 
it's well, not going to be usually enough. people are arrested and their charges brought against them and then maybe you'll get bail maybe you won't it depends mm. i don't know what case you're referring to specifically um but i just know I, that these people go on um no no you go first no, I just said like less, you know, the, the, the punishment is like so insignificant. Okay. And the honor that these people think that they could now signal to the world for participating in something like this is so much more worthy to them than the small cost that they have to pay for the short time that they have to spend behind bars. In fact, a lot of them will see spending time behind bars for taking an action like this as mm -hmm. a badge of honor like uh, you this is like you know going to prison in other countries is beyond just like oh your freedoms went away for a while you are now somebody who went to prison and you're going to be your you know your your standing in society has been damaged forever in other countries you know what i mean like you're you went to jail okay so that's a cause that people have to have with them for the rest of their life like in like in other countries right like you're a criminal okay but in here like this doesn't have that effect going to jail for something like this you come out be like yeah bitches i went to jail for this like look how honorable i am for the for the honor of my prophet i actually paid a higher cost than the rest of you like i went to jail for doing something so noble you know what i mean like say they, they will come out like happier than before they will come out with pride like so it's not like these these punishments doesn't really work on, on a lot of them so yeah but go on what are we gonna say what i thought was interesting so i was reading this piece about this incident in um gandhara which is the um afghan and pakistani version of uh radio free europe so i uh, really like their reporting and they were saying um wait who is this quoting so uh Tahir Ashrafi, an Islamic cleric and Imran Khan's advisor, maintains that Pakistanis are united against mob lynchings. Quote, all the Muslim scholars agree that a mob shouldn't have punished him. We have laws and people are punished for violating them, he added, alluding to Pakistan's laws that state blasphemy is a crime punishable by death. What they did has brought notoriety to Islam in Pakistan, uh, he told Radio Free Europe's uh, Radio Mashal. Asrafi said the government is launching a massive awareness campaign against vigilante attacks. He added that Islamabad, the capital, would push to turn a code of conduct unanimously adopted by various Islamist political parties and sects in 2018 into law. Quote, we are forming committees at all federal and provincial administrative levels to promote tolerance and interfaith harmony, he said. The aim will be to resolve problems locally. But independent observers and human rights campaigners are not convinced. They point to Pakistan's failure to rein in hardline Islamist factions and repeal or reform the blasphemy laws enacted in the 1990s as part of a push to Islamize the country under a military dictatorship. Um, journalist uh, Sabuk Syed reports on religious affairs in Pakistan. He says that years of campaigning to preserve the blasphemy laws by conservative conservative clerics has created a new reality. The Islamic clergy have formed a narrative that justifies compulsory punishment for blasphemy accusations, he told Radio Mashal. In their view, the accused hanged by a court or killed by a mob are the same, he added. They preach this view from the mosque's pulpit and in religious gatherings, which encourages people to participate in such acts. Um, so what I thought was interesting about this was this apparent push that should be coming out, this massive awareness campaign around the country that's supposed to oppose these kinds of things. So that'll be really interesting to follow and observe to see what that's like and how that actually comes forward. Um, especially, I'm, I'd be so curious to see what the rhetoric around a campaign of, of, of that is like, because they can't say that they you know oppose the death sentence or killing for blasphemy because they oh do. my that's god a state no law that's state they can't law. even say that politically or for fear of that would be the safety. end of them that would be the end of yeah. them if they come and say like blasphemy is not a punishable by death because okay so here's the thing if you are like one of these islamists you're going to be like okay government if you don't want us to kill them then why don't you just follow the law Right, so they were like, "Oh, you shouldn't be." So here's what the mob. Here's what the mob thinks. Okay, 
the mob thinks like, okay, the rule of law. You're like, oh, the mob shouldn't be killing blasphemers. We have the rule of law. The law says blasphemers should be killed, and you haven't see, killed a single blasphemer, right? So the mob is like, maybe, maybe we wouldn't be doing all of this killing if you were doing it for us, government. You're not doing your job, so you, you have no right and say like, but, but guys, so for example, you have to understand when Pakistan government comes and says like we don't endorse this, they're not saying that we don't endorse killing people for blasphemy because they do endorse killing people for blasphemy. They're saying that there needs to be, if we want to kill people for blasphemy, there needs to be a court, the government will do it. It, sh it shouldn't just be a mob lynching, okay? The mob will say that argument only stands if you were doing your job and killing blasphemers. They're, throughout the history of, this gov of, of, of Pakistan, not a single person has been executed for blasphemy. They have been sentenced to death. They have been on death row, but not a single one of them have been actually killed. Okay, Be um, so the mob is like that's that's why we have to step in, right? Um, and again, when they say we're going to do this and this and that, with what force? Okay, with what force? You have the police. You don't have the army. The army is a separate entity that is actually in competition with the civil government. Okay, they're more powerful than the civil government. The civil, the army actually uses these Islamist groups at sometimes against the civil government, right? So there's like a competition going on, and these mobs, this like these Islamists, are a lot more powerful right now than a lot of the forces that the government that the civil government has. Like we're gonna do this and this and that. When you had the opportunity to do that a long time ago, okay, you decided not not only to fight against it, you decided to fuel this because for the sake of getting elected. Now it's it might be too late. I don't know. I don't think like I don't, I don't think like if, if anybody could stop them would be the army. And the army is like a lot of them are actually sympathetic to these uh, Islamists, and the the ones who aren't find them a very powerful tool when they need them. Right. So so the civil government coming and saying like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Like how it's like how you, you guys are like you. I mean, I wouldn't even at this point, I don't even expect you to be able to. Right. Like you're like if people are like, oh, no, they're not doing enough. What are what can they do? They themselves like, you know, they themselves need the army to come in so that they, they can keep their heads above, on their shoulders with regards to like defending themselves against these Islamists. Anyways, you know what I find so disturbing about this is just when there's this mob activity, there is just no recognition for any, I mean, not that any of this is okay in any form, no matter the circumstances, but there is zero consideration for any like extenuating circumstance, mainly being the fact that according to the reports that I've read, this is a man who suffered from schizophrenia for 15 years, you know? I kind of have a hard time believing there must be things in Islam that says if a person is not aware and in control of their own faculties, you know, we have some, you know, other contingencies for that kind of situation. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I feel like these actions are actually like worse than the scriptures itself. I could be wrong, but I find it a hard time believing that even according to Islamic law, this would be okay. Someone who's mentally incapacitated okay. you know like none of this okay N what the mob is doing is technically not islamic law at all okay so let's just be okay so i'm not defending islamic law because islamic law still allows i mean mandates killing of blasphemers okay so this is one of those situations where islam is indirectly responsible for something rather than directly being responsible for it just like honor killing is not allowed in islam but islam is still like we have had this conversation many times i don't want to go over it here like this like yeah like you can't like in islam you're not allowed to just like without any shora or without like any like court or hearing or a judge or anything uh, you can't just like willy-nilly send a whole mob at somebody for and kill them for blasphemy that is not allowed in islam you need like evidence you need a judge but again, this is not a defense of Islam because in Islam, at the end of the day, if you could prove, if the judge, if it's proven to the judge that somebody has committed blasphemy, they should be executed. Okay, so that's already horrible. So I'm not defending Islam, but I'm, but still, what this saying that this is not Islamic, I'm not saying that Islam is any better. Okay, so, but even though that technically this is not Islamic for a mob to just go kill a blasphemer, right? Um, Islam is responsible for the mentality and the attitudes and the oh, um, sensitivities and all the and the lack of punishment 
responsible for all this behavior to 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 exist just like in honor killing islam is responsible for creating honor culture islam is responsible for creating the attitude that you could like punish women for being um you know sexually available um physically punish them islam does um promote the concept of qayrat which shows like an entire man's honor is completely destroyed if the woman in the family does something um uh, inappropriate um islam is responsible for providing much less punishment for killing women in your family than men men in your com- uh, family so all of that combined does lead to honor killing being way more common in islamic communities than other communities even though there's nothing in islam that says that you could kill your daughter or kill your wife or kill your sister okay for for be, like there needs to be a judge there needs to be a court or something like that okay like islam doesn't allow that but islam is still responsible for it in the same way these mob killings these lynchings islam doesn't allow it directly but islam is still responsible for pro- creating an environment where these things uh, are more common mhm um somebody's bringing say hadith mustafa is saying actually you're right oh. there are provisions like this okay that's what i figured because there is an yes. internal logic to these things i don't agree with obviously their conclusions but i'm like that just seems too bizarre i, I, I yeah um bengali hindu can you write the hadith down because i don't know if you want to i don't know if it's relevant for me to go and pick up and find what this hadith is saying like if you want to mention a hadith like maybe write it down here Should I go look it up or I don't know if this is good. Wait, give me but... 30 seconds. Okay. I'm very curious about this 984. Okay, 16. so here's so you just say that in your head because I'm going to read this and I'm going to respond to it because here's the here's one thing. Philip saying India mobs are not much better they beat you for eating beef, okay? This is insane, okay? V- you're completely wrong about this Philip, okay? Yes, India has a huge mob problem, mob justice, people are getting killed for uh craziest the craziest things okay however it's not even close to what's happening in pakistan okay we as much as anti um hindutva or anti um hindu right wing mob justice and all of these like ethno you know religious nationalism that is happening in india as much as we report on it as much as we're against it uh, to suggest that it's the same level of what's happening in pakistan is like is ridiculous okay pakistan is at its, an entire other level it's not even it's not even remotely close it's not even close okay so that okay that doesn't mean that we don't complain about things in india there's a lot of things to complain about in india okay but pakistan is way 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 worse like Uh, yeah then then india could i then india i think could ever be okay oh uh, here this hadith that bengali hindu put in the chat i think is more about apostasy than blasphemy ali narrated no doubt i heard allah's apostle saying quote during the last days there will appear some young foolish people who will say the best words but their faith will not go beyond their throats i e they will have no faith and it will go and will go out and leave their religion as an arrow goes out of the game so wherever you find them kill them for whoever kills them shall be rewarded on the day of resurrection yeah it's more about uh... um apostasy hmm um is this a sahih hadith or is this just like a how sahih is it has I mean it's Bukhari yeah. it's Bukhari oh wait yeah. you're you're at this Bukhari wait so what does the hadith say saying Alisa carry out the legal punishments on relatives and strangers and do not let the fear of blame stop you from carrying out the command of Allah yeah but who how like it's like the obviously there's there needs to be a punishment um I mean I according to islam they say it needs to be a punishment but it doesn't talk about the methodology okay there are some rivayat of muhammad being happy with people who just went and killed somebody who insulted him 
Okay, mm -hmm. but those were I don't know if that was a ha authentic hadith or that's just like one of the rabbis, right? Like so I don't know how authentic that is. And people Muslims could argue that we already have very specific Sharia for how these punishments need to be happening. You can't just compare it to what Muhammad expected from his Sahaba when he was living, right? So maybe say that would like, well, like if Muhammad was here, maybe like if he was commanding something like that, then that would be a different situation. Like maybe you know, if, maybe if the Mahdi is here. But like right now, when we don't have any prophet or any imam here with us, there need there needs to be like a qazi, there needs to be like a judge. I don't know. Um, that's my understanding that there's this process to it. Again, again, I'm not defending any of this. I, this is already horrible. Um, anyways, we could if I'm if I'm wrong about this. Um. Yeah. No. I'm I'm happy to change my stance on this if I'm wrong about this. My understanding is that you need a judge. Again, this is not an endorsement of Islam. Okay? I hope people. Oh, of course not. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abadi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.